How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review on the channel. Look what we have today. It's a Newcastle United player. As you guys know, I do support Newcastle, an avid fan of Newcastle United. And today, we have Fabian Shea. We've got Shea on this player moments. It's a Shea for his goal against Burnley. I do believe it was in the 2018 to 2019 season. It was an absolute corker. Absolute worldy. And now, he's got this player moments. So lads, if you do enjoy this review, you know what to do already, man. For a Newcastle player, can we smash the hell? I would have thumbs up button and maybe hit a thousand likes. That would be sensational. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. Make sure you click that bell as well to be notified of every single review that goes up on the Marshall 89 HD channel. The socials, Marshall 89 YT, Marshall 89 HD, Instagram and Twitter. Make sure you check both of them out. Links are in the description below. As for Fabian Shea, He's going to play centre-back, but given the stats that Fabian Shea has, you can play him CDM. You can honestly play him CDM, and I think he'd do a great job in that role. As a central defensive midfielder, he'll do it very, very well. I played three games in total with the card, and he's coming in at a price of 120k on the Xbox, 120k on the PlayStation. That's a bit steep. But when you compare him to the rest of the Premier League centre-backs, the Van Dykes, uh, Joe Gomez, that was like 400k or something like that, you start to look at that and think, you know what, this could be value. This could literally be value. So um, these are the SBCs that we use to submit them now. The high rate players, they're untradeable from the Prem SBC um, and stuff like that for the new upgrade packs, basically. Yeah. Fernandinho, 87 rated, that was untradeable. The rest, we needed one in form in there. We put James Tompkins in. Uh, the other one was an 85 rated squads. Casemiro, he's high rated, also untradeable. Uh, Tony Cruz, he's high rated, also untradeable, and the rest were just kind of big part players to stick in there into the SBC because the second I seen this SBC, I was like, I need Fabian Scherer in my squad, I need him, which I can only imagine you guys when you see like a Rashford in the SBC, you see uh, a Benzema in the SBC, the, uh, the, the Manchester United fans will be like, I want this card, I need him in my squad. The Real Madrid fans for Benzema would be like, I want this, score, this card, I need him in my team. And I was exactly the same with Fabian Shea once I did see this card. Just wait till you see his dynamic image, by the way. It is sensational. In terms of his player, Bayer, he's got high and high work rates. For a centre-back, that's not always that great. And I've got to see his marking. is possibly affected by this, but his marking just isn't that great in general. Uh, 6 for 2 in terms of height, he's sensational in the air, especially with the jumping that he's got. Lads, just take a look at some of these jumping stats, man. It's 98, given that he's 6 for 2. He's sensational in the air. He's got uh, right foot primarily, 4 star weak foot, so it doesn't matter which foot he passes the ball out from the back with, especially with the 83 short pass, 84 long pass. His passing is very good for a centre back on this game, and I need to say that. In terms of pace, 76 plus 15 with a shadow cam style, 78 plus 10 with a shadow cam style. I've got to say that's very deceiving. In game, he doesn't seem as fast as um, those stat increases would make out, but um, he's adequately. Well, he's, he's adequate pace, it's adequate pace, but he's not going to catch up with the likes of Mbappe. He's not going to catch up to Ronaldo. He's not going to catch up with those kind of centre-backs. And he's not going to put the pressure on and build up to that top speed as fast as humanly possible for a video game character. So that doesn't really make sense. But um, he's not going to build up the pace that quickly. He's got 75 attack position, 77 finishing. Now, look at this. 97 shot power, 88 long shots. I do like that because... He's got this moment from a long shot, so the boost there is very, very good. 99 penalties as well. Stick him on your penalties, boys. Stick him on your penalties. In terms of passing, we've been over that. The dribble, and 72 agility, 72 balance. Not bad for a centre back, but he turns like a truck. He's got 75 dribble, he's got 89 reactions, 81 ball control, and 90 composure. When it comes to defending, 86 interceptions and head accuracy with 85 defensive awareness, which is marking. I'm going to say. Marking it wasn't that good in game for me anyways. Stand tackle of 86 and slide tackle of 80. The 98 jump, like I've already said, the 80 stamina, 86 strength, and the 80 aggression. With that being said, let's get the gameplay highlights with Fabian Shea. So here we go, lads, into the highlights. Now, in terms of Fabian Shea and what he's capable of, this is what he's capable of from centre-back. He reminded me of a Van Dijk slash David Luiz in terms of passing out from the back and creating chances from the back. That was literally four minutes into his debut, and we scored from it. So he is capable of transitioning defense into offense very, very quickly, especially with his long passing being 84. And um, if you've got the vision yourself, he can pull off those passes from center back. He's dominant in the air. You've seen there a header from a clearance by the goalkeeper. Very dominant in the air, lads. He's sensational in terms of jumping. He gets so much height on it. With the strength that he's got, he gets... I don't know, like an advantage in the air where you can like show the people off mid-air and uh, win the header. It's, it's just great. His heading is very, very good in this game. And that's mainly what I did like about the card. His heading's supreme, absolutely supreme. I enjoyed the passing of the card, sensational. 
and um, especially passing out from the back can be quite difficult on this game from time to time to find the teammates if they're putting a lot of pressure on you and Fabian Shea you can definitely find the teammate when it comes to shot power he's got the power he doesn't quite have the accuracy which I need to work on uh, from shots like basically have you ever used Coleman on this game? Uh, he, he would remind me of a Coleman when it comes to shooting and his ability in front of goal. Because that, um, I think it's Ronald Coleman. Coleman is very good in this game when it comes to shot technique. Fabian Shea reminds me a lot of that card. As uh, you will see uh, Fabian Shea defending and whatnot here. And he's a good defender. He's not sensational. He's a good defender. A very good defender on this game. But he isn't like end game like Van Dijk. He's not end game like um, maybe a Delict, a Maldini, etc. etc. He's not that quite end game. What else do I like about him? The tackling. The tackling's good. The tackling's efficient. And the tackling is effective. 86 stand tackle. And his interceptions are very good as well. 86 interceptions. And so if he's high to high work rates, lads. He goes in head first. And what I mean is like he's not literally going to go tackle someone at foot height head first. What I mean is... He, 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 he just he closes them down quickly, but he just rushes into the challenge, if that kind of does make sense. Uh, this one's very good. A good cover in there defensively and uh, recycle the possession and keep the ball. Um, strength is good about this card. The aggression, not so much, but the strength is very, very good at 86. In terms of cons, I'm saying his pace because, like I said, his pace is deceiving. It, it says 76 acceleration, 78 sprint speed, plus 15 uh, to take it into the 90s with acceleration to 91. Doesn't feel like 91 in the slightest. Yes, he feels quick from time to time, but um, he, he just doesn't. Generally, he doesn't. And um, the turn slow bits, which uh, you expect the centre backs in this game to be quite stocky, quite uh, like, I don't know, to turn slow and whatnot. And he just does. He's got 72 agility, 72 bounce, which isn't bad for a centre back. Look at his position in there, by the way. I didn't close him down um, the other player from that kind of shot, but. It closed it down anyways automatically. I didn't like that. It dragged him away from the player the pass was going to. And he took the shot. He nearly scored. But um, yeah, they're my pros. They're my cons. Lads, let's get into the overall rating for, again, Newcastle United SBC, Fabian Shea. So there we have it, lads. Fabian Shea is a good centre-back on this game. He's not a tremendous centre-back. I, I need to say that much. I mean, he's had the high work rates. It, um, it does cause issues. It causes issues for his defensive positioning. It causes issues for him being in the right place at the right time. You would have seen that when um, you transition, you win the ball back. He, he instantly looks to push a little bit further forwards, meaning if you lose the ball instantaneously, he's on the back foot. Normally, the strength is in behind the defence. And with the pace that he's got, it could be very hard to catch up because 76 acceleration uh, is not very good. With a shadow, it should be good. It's 91. But um, an 88 sprint speed, it should be brilliant. But like I say, it looks a deceit and it definitely is with Fabian Shea, especially in the pace category. The shooting is good. 97 shot power, sensational 88 long shots should be sublime. And it is. It is quite good. It is quite accurate. It will get on target and whatnot. But um, especially from corners, you'll be definitely a danger from corners should he win a header or anything like that with 86 head accuracy and the 98 jump. Because like I mentioned, he's very, very, very uh, dominant in the air. So as for a for Fabian Shea, I'm going for an 8.4. Which you might look at that and think I'm being a little bit harsh. Lads, I'm being totally non biased here. I could say he's like a 10 out of 10 because he's a Newcastle player and whatnot, but um, he's not that great. He's not that great when it comes down to it being absolutely, absolutely amazing, if you know what I'm saying. So that's a good rating for a centre back. 8.4 is not bad, man. It's really not bad, but. In, like, order of the Premier League centre-backs, I'd say Joe Gomez is better than this card. I would say uh, Van Dijk's better than this card. David Luiz is better than this card. There is many better centre-backs in the Premier League than this card, let alone... Um, well, basically, those centre-backs I've just listed off are more expensive than Fabian Shea. So you could say it's kind of value for coins, which I would agree with. I'm giving an 8.9 in that category. 120k isn't too bad for a Newcastle United centre-back, a Premier League centre-back, um, or base. And, um, yeah, it's, it's not too bad whatsoever. 120k isn't too bad. So an 8.6 is what I'm giving. You do get packs back, but the pack return... I don't believe it's that great for the cards. I did get a walk out. I think I got Casemiro on one of them. But um, it's not that great in terms of pack return. But again, you could get lucky at any packs on this game. In terms of enjoyment, 8.8. And what I, I take about enjoyment on this game is, well, from Fabian Cher anyways, is that he's different from the norm. The norm is you, you're strong brutes, this, that, and the other. Lads, Fabian Cher is different from those. He's different. He has technique. He has... Um, great shots, If should you get into the area, he's got strength, he's got defensive awareness, 
somewhat. Sometimes his high work rates can compromise that. But um, it's his interceptions I've did like uh, a lot about the card and his tackling in general. And he's jumping. His head is, whether it's not hidden dominance, it's aerial dominance was sensational. When it comes down to start or a sub, He'd be both. He'd be both, lads. He'd be both. Why would he be both? Because, honestly, at the end of the game, I could see him coming on and taking out the rest of the game. And, it's like, if you move into a five-back formation, I don't like playing against it, but if you move into a five-back formation, he could seal the win. He could be the all kind of difference maker in the match. And also, if you want to play him CDM, he can play there. He gets a very good rating there. And, honestly, with the stats that he's got... I don't think he'd be a bad CDM. I really, really don't. So I see him as coming on to seal the game out. And um, I do see him as a starter as well. I might just start him this weekend league, you know, instead of uh, Team Year Deletes. Because I do want to try this share out in weekend league. In terms of games played, I played three in total. He got an 8.3, a 7.7. And the final game, I got battered after you see those highlights. 6.3. In terms of the links and whatnot, Premier League links. That is all you're looking forward, Fabian Share. Premier League and icons. Or Kevin and Babu. If you did that in Babu which I didn't, and I bloody regret it now. If you did do in Babu, lads, that's a great kind of hybridization up to, is that, have I just made that word up? Hybridization? It's a good hybrid to, um, um, oh, who, yeah, hybridized between the Premier League and the Bundesliga, a very good hybridization option. I'm claiming that word, by the way, hybridization is a sick word. But, um, yeah, when it comes to similar players, I think I mentioned it in game. David Luiz has very similar passing pattern or passing abilities to this card, and Fabian Cher plays like a David Luiz, so, um, yeah, I'd probably say most similar player is a David Luiz if you want to kind of compare. In terms of key pro will be the tackle, the key con will be the pace, and the best game style will be Shadow. Like I said, the pace is deceiving with this card, but um, technically the best game style would be like Guardian or Anchor or something like that, takes him to a 92 centre back, but Shadow, you need to boost that pace, man. 91 centre back and 88 right back. Like I said, you can play CDM, 87 CDM with Shadow, 86 right wing back and an 82 centre midfielder. Seems the best Premier League centre backs. You've got Van Dijk, David Luiz, Joe Gomez, and then Fabian Shea would come in at number four. In terms of Switzerland centre backs, it's Fabian Shea than Nakanji, and Nakanji didn't get a foot miss this year, so it's literally just Fabian Shea. In terms of passing, it's an eight. The shooting will be a seven. The physical will be an eight, and the dribbling will also be a seven. Remember, lads, I was going to say card, cards or something like that, because I got lads and cards mixed up. Lads, just lads, 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 lads. Take a shot every time I say lads, boys. But um, in terms of Fabian Shea. And his ability to bring certain things to the table, he brings something different. And that's what I liked about this card. Something different, something away from the norm. And I hope he released more of these cards. Not just Newcastle players, um, like Palmer players or um, Norwich players. You know what I'm saying? Those kind of players from different teams. Maybe a Todd Cantwell. Maybe, um, I, I know we've got different players from different teams. I know we've got a Zaha and whatnot. He was an objective. But lads, just let's see players from obscure teams. I'm calling Newcastle United obscure you right now that's um that's that, that's uh uh that's wrong but anyways guys hope you have enjoyed this review if you have once again leave a like subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here i'll give you my full unbiased opinion on fabian share good center back great center back not end game simply not end game right now but i'm very very happy he's got this card i'm actually delighted he's got this card but lads if you have enjoyed this review smash a like on it subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here drop a comment in the comment section below are you gonna do fabian share let me know and as always i will catch you all next time